Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a mask in Blender. Um, these look good on your Roblox characters, and it's one of my more requested videos. Um, you guys seem to like all the UGC tutorials, so I'm um, just going to follow up on that trend. And today we're going to be making a mask. Um, today I want to use a rainbow gradient for the um, handles of the mask. And then I want to do a black, like the part that covers your mouth is black. Um, so these are going to be the, the parts, the strings that wrap around the ears, just like that. I wanted to do a red to blue gradient as a rainbow. And then this white part, we're going to color our, um, <clears throat> our mask and its design. So I want to do a, I want to do a black outer, um, with a light gray on the inner, just like that. And then when we're happy with that, I'm just going to scale it down to fit the empty space. And now's the time to draw on any cool textures you want. Um, let's say you want to give it a little smiley face. Um, now's the time that you would draw that on to your mask. So real quick, I'm just going to do my design. This is completely optional, um, but this is just something that I would do. So. Let's give this a little more distance. Let's say, actually, I'm just going to do, <laughs> let's just do a line. <laughs> uh, wait. There we go. I'm very artistic. We'll do that. Um, so this is going to be the design on the mask. This is going to be the handles and the black part is going to be the color of the mask. And I'll show you guys how we piece that all together. Just one moment. <clears throat> so now that we have the texture done, we're going to hop into Blender and we're going to start modeling. Um, so open up Blender. It could be 2.8 or 2.79. The workflow is the same. So just copy my steps in either one. We're going to import a dummy and that's what we're going to use to uh, reference when we're 3D modeling. Um, so let's just join it together and bring it to the center. And then we're going to use Alt-G to remove locational data and bring it right to the center. From here, you guys can see I have my little noob here and we're going to give him a little mask. So the first thing we're going to do is create the strings. Um, for my strings, I'm going to use a torus and we're going to um, use that to create um, the strings that wrap around and then we're going to scale it down so it's thinner. So what we're going to do is lower the, here let's go into solid mode. Um, you can see all these lines around it, the, the less there are, the thinner it is. So if we set this to 6, it gets thinner. Um, and we can also change the radius to be um, the minor and major radius as well. And that also controls the thickness. So if we're doing it super thin and super small, then we need to change the minor radius and the segments to be, um, I did mine as six and then one as the uh, minor radius. The segments, it matters a little bit, but not too much. Like if you do five, it's not gonna be round. Um, so you can just leave it as it is by default. I think it's like 31. Something like that. Once you're happy with that, we're going to press Alt-G to bring it right to the center. And we're going to scale it up just till we see it right around the face. Just like that. From here we can go to texture and we can kind of position it where we need it to be. We're going to need two for our mask. So just press Shift-D to duplicate and drag it up and that'll be two. Right? Next, all we need to do is create the part that covers your mouth and then texture it and we're good to go. So using a cube, we are going to add a mirror modifier and you guys follow my steps on how we do this. So you need to reflect it on the a uh, X axis and turn on clipping. What clipping does is if we separate it, it separates here, but if clipping's on, it doesn't separate. So we're gonna use that to our advantage to model both sides at the same time. So what we're going to do is scale it down like this, drag this face up just to where it touches the top, and then this part down to where it touches the bottom. And from here you determine how thick you want your mask to be by dragging it in, and then aligning it perfectly along the center just like that. 
from here we're going to scale it in and all we're going to do is rotate on the Z axis and extrude press E to extrude again rotate on the E axis and extrude or Z axis and extrude X axis sorry guys um, and then one more time um, rotate Z axis extrude from here we're going to round out our mask so we're going to select the top and bottom edge and all we're going to do is press control B and that will create a nice smooth curve right there it'll bevel it for us just like that uh, we need to fix up some of these edges where it's kind of clipping through all you got to do is select them so we can go in here and select the face and we're just going to drag it out a little bit this part is kind of looking a little weird just going to drag it in a little bit and if it's still causing problems we can press control B and bevel it and that will just create a rounder curve for us everything else is looking pretty much nice should be good to go so that's what we got so far if we switch to solid or to texture we can see it on our person um, from here I'm just gonna do some last minute little changes I'm gonna create like a little ridge for the nose make it come down through the sides just shape it however you need it to be just get it as perfect as you want it I'm also going to loop cut and slide just like that and I'm going to extrude out Wait, I'm going to actually, let's move this down. It should probably be thinner. Again, a lot of this is just trial and error, guys. Um, it's probably not going to look perfect on your first try. So really just play around until you find that shape that you like. Once you're happy with it, which I am, you're going to apply your modifier and join it together. So select all three pieces and control J to join. Next we're going to add um, smooth shading. So what we're going to do is select the mesh, set all the faces to smooth, and then go right here and turn on auto smooth. And that will smooth out our mesh for us. Again, you can play around, make any last minute changes that you want. I'm just going to round out this so it's not so perfect like that maybe make it fit the face a little more Alright, now that I'm pretty much happy with the shape of the mesh, all I'm going to do now is texture it. So what we're going to do, we're going to drag open another um, editor type and open up a UV image editor. And from here we're going to set our view to perspective um, slash orthographic and then we're going to set our faces to the back or the front or wherever the uh, mask is. We're going to switch to texture mode and we get to texture our mask. So we're going to drag in our texture we made earlier. So just save it right here. And then I'm going to drag it in to this UV image editor. And from here we get to texture. So we're going to go to a top down view. And first we're going to do our strings. 
So what we're going to do, I'm going to press H on the noob to hide it. And I'm going to go into edit mode on this. And I'm going to press U to unwrap and project from view. You guys can see here our mask is projected over here. What we're going to do is rotate it on the... Um, the rotate it negative 90 degrees on the x-axis and then scale it out just like this so our bands turn rainbow you can see a better look at the effect here next we're going to select our mask by pressing ctrl L to select linked items and we're going to go back into the perspective view and then um, right there you can re turn on your proportional or you can turn on unhide your uh, dummy if you want to but you don't have to next I'm just going to scale out um, project from view again and scale out to where you can see the face on your mask so now we have rainbow bands and then a mask you can add any last minute touches from here for me I'm just gonna add some little rainbow loops to hold it all together I think that would be a nice touch to it. So I'm just going to scale it down just like this. I'm going to press Alt E and extrude it up and then I'm going to drag this up to the rainbow. Okay. Now's the part where you would need to clean up any errors in your mesh. So in this case, I'm just going to bring these up like that. And that's about it guys. So here we have a rainbow mask. And that's how you make and texture a mask for your Roblox avatar. If you guys found this helpful, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what tutorial you'd like to see next. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, um, at least consider watching another video. I do teach stuff all the time. And again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.